We're back here on Open. Darren Jaime here with you as we continue talking about all the things concerning COVID-19. And when we talk about COVID-19, one of the things that we need to discuss is that of migrant workers, refugees, and how this all impacts. And so we're pleased to be joined by Lane Romero Alston, who's the team manager of International Migration Initiative for the Open Societies Foundation of New York City. And uh, Lane, good to have you. Nice to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And so as we talk a little bit about this, I, I want you to walk us through because um, we talk about a lot of affected and impacted groups. And when it comes to migrant workers, definitely uh, sometimes they fall between the cracks. But I know that you're front and center with boots on the ground, able to deal with them. Yeah, most definitely. And when we talk about um, some of the most vulnerable workers, well, workers who have been working hard um, well before COVID-19 hit, um, workers who are caring for our families as domestic workers and home health aides, or workers who are um, now delivering uh, our food to those of us who have the ability to stay home during this time, or workers who are stocking our warehouses or um, still working in the grocery stores that enable us to um, um, still uh, eat and go and stock up when we need to. Um, some of these workers are workers who've been um, for a long time working hard, but work hasn't really um, helped to make ends meet. They've been working with low wages oftentimes and um, under, uh, under dangerous conditions before. Um, and when COVID-19 came, um, uh, in many cases, they're still working, but without the kind of protections, um, whether it be health protections, um, paid leave, or um, the, what they call the protective equipment to be able to go to work and be, and be safe. And then many workers um, lost their jobs, as we know, uh, when, um, when COVID-19 hit and didn't have uh, paid leave or didn't have savings to fall back on. Um, they're now called essential workers, which is right. amazing that we understand their importance to our economy and our society, and yet they're not necessarily getting the kinds of supports. And many of those workers are also um, immigrants, immigrants, whether they um, be uh, migrant workers um, or whether they be immigrant workers who've been living here for a long time, um, uh, whether it be with, with uh, uh, documentation or undocumented workers, as well as, re as refugees. And unfortunately, um, many of these workers are not eligible for the kinds of uh, relief that is coming from the federal government um, through unemployment insurance or through the stimulus checks that um, some of us are fortunate to get, uh, some of us are fortunate to get to help us ride out um, this right. time. So when you talk about filling in those gaps, right? So you're talking about they're not getting stimulus checks. Yep. Uh, you know, the, the, the money's not coming to them and they definitely are in need. So I know you're trying to be a bridge and you have work to be a bridge. How are you bridging the gap for those who've been affected like this? So Open Society Foundation is partnering with the city of New York um, as well as multiple cities across the country, about 20, including a few counties and states to set up um, funds that are um, private funds through uh, funds like the foundations like Open Society Foundations and other kinds of foundations and individual donors, but are in partnership with the city who, um, who we believe are um, critical to responding to the needs of their communities and the people in need right now to be able to, um, and then also working with community-based organizations that have long track record and history and trust and relationship who um, are able to provide services in multiple languages with cultural competency to be able to provide one-time cash assistance um, supports to workers who are otherwise excluded from the stimulus and their families. So um, for example, in New York, we were able to um, provide uh, $20 million to the Mayor's Fund for the City of New York, which is a uh, a partner foundation to the city who will be contracting and supporting, partnering with um, about 30 different community-based organizations that are in communities and communities, various communities of the Bronx or Upper Manhattan or Queens or Staten Island or Lower Manhattan that the communities know and, and trust so that they can be able to reach out to the communities they've been serving for a long time and will continue to be serving um, after uh, this period that we're living 
um, be able to do the kinds of assessment um, of eligibility for this assistance and provide both that support, but also connect folks to other kinds of supports that they might be eligible for um, and that they'll be needing um, in addition to the cash assistance. Right. Well, Lane, before we go, please, for there may be migrant workers out there. There may be people who are saying, listen, I, I want to get connected. I want to find out more information. How do they go about getting connected to you in a time such as this? Yeah, um, they should call the city, the mayor's office of Im immigrant affairs has a hotline. The number is 212-788-7654. They also have an email, which is askmoya, so A-S-K-M-O-I-A -A at cityhall.nyc.gov. And really it, it, um, folks should reach out to them um, to be able to find the, the access to the community-based organizations and that are closest to your region. That's the best way to find out more information and to hopefully get access to these kinds of resources. Well, Lainey, thank you so much. I believe that we'll get people connected and you shared a lot today and hopefully uh, people can tap in and continue the great work that you're doing with migrant workers and immigrants the whole nine yards. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me and thank you for your really important reporting on this. Thank you, Lenny Romero Alston, our guest here on Open. Why don't you stay with us because we've got more shows coming up right after this.